Introducing PC Barbie. She bakes them, you scrape them. She comes with two methods of evacuation. Give it a stab with a good old co-hanger. Low on time, crank it up and out with the baby beater. Just use an old egg beater, give it a twist, and baby is gone. Remember, give your kids the choice you didn't have with PC Barbie. Baby blood sold separately, remember to scrape them. I'm sorry, Billy, but we don't believe your products suit our company. Now, these inventions are very creative, but we feel that our audience might not be ready for the pro-choice Barbie and the headlamp umbrella. Maybe the next generation will be more accepting of these inventions. What about the toaster alarm clock? Well, the wake and bake, I'm afraid, falls under the same category. Now, don't take it too hard. Some of history's greatest inventors had their first ideas turned down. Let's meet again when you have something a little more consumer friendly. What's up, Da Vinci? How'd the meeting go? Not good, Emerald. They said my products weren't consumer friendly. What? Really? You know what? What did they... Wait, you showed them the umbrella headlight? Yeah. Unbelievable. And no dice, huh? Wait, what about the wake and bake alarm? Not their cup of tea. That's great. You know what, Billy? I like your inventions. I think they're creative. They solve problems I didn't even know I had. And most of them are safe. Is this what you ordered the meeting? Oh, yeah. Well, holy shit. Well, that's the problem there. You got the inventions, but no presentation there, Billy. Trust me. I've been a fat American consumer my whole life. I know what works. No, they said my products were, wouldn't reach a mass audience. Oh, blah, blah. That sounds like to me. You know, did anybody ever need the magic blender? No. And what about those pointless workout machines they sell on TV infomercials? Of course not. Oh, my products are pointless now. No, ding dong, I didn't say that. If Billy Mays taught me anything, is that you can sell shit to people. All you gotta do is be loud, flap your arms like a chicken, tell them they suck. Emerald, I'm not as charismatic as you. I know. So I'll tell you what I'll do. You invent a workout machine, I'll invent a dietary supplement. If they like it, we'll split the profits. Okay, thanks. Economy got you down? You trying to save money? Huh? Well, stop using electricity where you can. Hmm? With the new and improved bicycle generator pump. All you do is grab these little bad boys here, plug them in anywhere, anywhere, and just pump away. Just like that. Generates anything. Huh? You go lean. You stay green. My, my, Emerald, you are quite the inventor. 
for the love of God, for every thousand people that come in here, finally one that actually makes sense. So, what else can you show us? Well, gentlemen, last but not least, I got the at-home liposuction kit hmm? with dietary supplement. Ooh, now how does that work? Simple. All you do is grab the magic suction wand, just stick it in the general vicinity of your belly button, and woo, turn it on! Um, there appears to be a little blood. Is that normal? A few drops of blood is a small price to pay to be accepted into a materialistic image conscious world, gentlemen. I like to call it plug and play. You just plug and whoop, play. Follow the diet plan for maximum weight loss. Has this product been approved by someone with a PhD at the end of their name? Has any infomercial product been approved by the FDA? No. Well, Emeril, congratulations. We would definitely like to feature your product. Did you invite someone? Nope. Hold on a sec. the wall. You're under arrest for illegal substances. I didn't do anything of the sort. Oh, shut up. We know your dietary supplements contain illegal narcotics. Emerald, what did you put in those things?